Hello and welcome to Telecom TV and welcome to, to the Great Telco Debate 2022 being held here in a, a wintry London. I'm talking with Richard Band who is with Hewlett Packard Enterprise HPE. Richard, thanks for talking to us. Huge amount of discussion about private 5G networks. Where is P5G dominant right now? Well, first of all, I don't think we're at the stage yet where you can say it's dominant. I think the reality is that we're still very much in an experimentation phase. I think what we're seeing is first returns, encouraging results, um, but not yet. We haven't passed the point of early adopters into to mass market adoption. I don't think so. And having said that, where do we see the early traction then is the usual suspects. I would say there's oil and gas, which has been quite active, or extraction industries in general, defense, manufacturing, mostly in the high-tech space, where people have the skills to adopt these technologies and play around with it. Um, but interestingly enough, we're starting to see also demand coming from other places like healthcare, um, not for telemedicine, but more for mundane tasks like indoor coverage or the ability to just transmit large amounts of data for analysis, uh, agriculture, um, venues, uh, hospitality industry more in general. So we're seeing examples across the patch really at this point in time. So P5G, private 5G, is very much an alternative to Wi-Fi and HP is very active in both these technologies. How do you see them working together? I mean, they're not mutually exclusive, are they? So they must complement one another. Yeah, we, we do believe so. We, we, I think we started off with a discussion about alternative, you know, one versus the other. And it's one of the debates we are having here as part of the Great Telco debate. But we believe that they really are complementary. I think Wi-Fi is extremely good for indoor. It's very cost effective. It has a fantastic device ecosystem. Um, on the other hand, private 5G has an advantage in terms of coverage, uh, mobility. So when elements are, are moving around, um, to some degree, reliability and bandwidth as well. So what, what we are seeing is demand for private 5G is coming because the connectivity in the enterprise is evolving. So typically, Wi-Fi is already part of the mix. And we're getting to a point where Wi-Fi is not able to, to meet the demand for the reasons I just explained, and then private 5G may come into the mix, but it doesn't mean that Wi-Fi will be thrown out. So they, they need to work together. And today, you know, as I said before, we're still in experimentation phase. So I think what we're seeing today is private 5G being deployed as a silo alongside whatever they have already, with quite a lot of attention of people to, to make it work. As we move from the early adopter stage to mass market adoption, I think the ability to seamlessly make those two technologies work together is going to be incredibly important. Not so much from an, an end device perspective. I don't know that there's going to be a huge need for having devices move from one network to the other, but really about helping the enterprise manage those two technologies together on a day-to-day -day basis to provision devices, apply security, apply traffic routing. That's where we see the value of a company like HP being able to help customers bring these two technologies together. For enterprises and service providers alike, there are one or nearly always one or two issues of primary concern at any given time. What do you think they are at the moment? I think from the service provider perspective, it's quite clear is that they're investing a lot of money in 5G, in spectrum, in radio, with no clear path of return on that on the consumer market. So Obviously, all operators today, or pretty much all operators today, are looking for ways to grow into the enterprise space. And here, private 5G is an obvious adjacency for them. So I would say this is the big, you know, the big, uh, what do you call it, preoccupation of the, of, the, um, of the telco operators. And then, of course, going with that, there are you know, consequences in terms of how do you, do you go to market? What do you have in your offer? But I think the primary driver is they need to grow revenue in the B2B space. On the enterprise side, technology is not at all the concern. They're not interested in private 5G because it's such a wonderful technology. For them, it is other things. They're trying to increase automation. They're trying to have better quality of service, security concerns. There's a number of things that are driving the evolution in their demand for connectivity that then translate into this discussion around private 5G. But it's the important is to keep in mind that they're solving something that is not, not a technology problem, 
it's a business outcome. And at some point, connectivity, existing connectivity may fall short. And that's where private 5G may be a good solution. Interesting. Richard Bann, thank you very much. Thank you for having me.